what's up doc for this video it's <laughs> you are legend series hey there before we continue with this video make sure you are subscribed to the channel and you have bell notifications for all uploads for this one it is the gold xeno excalibur i think it's just gold sword or whatever now we did get the blue one in pretty good condition uh this one is slightly slightly beat up uh no i i that is cap it is definitely beat up what is this okay this is golden sword we did the silver sword which was the blue one this one i'm not gonna lie is beat up now i'm all right with getting it used like that shows the achilles one was used i have no idea what on god's earth the person did to this rare to get it in the condition that it's in like it's honestly impressive for how bad it is but uh you know yeah just to just the thing is legit sadly no code which i wish that we had the code this is what it looks like it was a rare back in the day this is a i mean this is not too special now but uh this is supposed to be again isn't this isn't this magnum oh at least we got the cool black impact yeah let's let's talk about it so the sword I don't know what happened to the sword. Man. This guy, def or wh whoever there was, guy, girl, I don't know who owned it originally. Whoever it was, yeah, they really liked this thing. I don't even know what is that thing in the center. I have no idea. Uh, it looks like they dented the middle of the X, which I'm definitely not going to fix in Photoshop. That is sarcasm, because I'm definitely going to Photoshop it and fix it. No, uh, okay, the impact is good. Wow, so we just did a really awkward magnum. Isn't it kind of pointless that they did that? Because wasn't... Yeah, it was a pointless magnum because the Inferno Ifrit magnum was like the same color or pretty close in color, but it was painted too. So it's even more valuable than the lottery one, technically. Uh, whatever. It looks cool though. Uh, so at least uh, the positive to this video is that I don't have to worry about uh, using it. It's already beat up. Uh, I don't really care too much, but uh, it is a shame. So let's uh, just weigh the thing. Gold Xeno is about 9.3. Magnum is about 19.18. And then after impact is about 6.06. .06. I like how it's also 6.06, .06, like 34.56, also known as the average weight for a recent Hasbro bear. That was a joke, that was a joke. All right, so I did align it where it's supposed to do that gimmick of the thing. It's that pointless gimmick of Excalibur where it lines up and it's supposed to help it. I don't even know what to battle against, to be honest, but, uh, you know, let's first do a test launch. I gotta say, though, recolor-wise, like, ignoring the condition of this, recolor-wise, fire. Absolutely fire. Which I hate. I hate it because it's always the lottery stuff that they make the best for the recolors. Like, everything else kind of low-key, like, kind of trash for the recolors for TT. Lotteries are almost always fire. It's very rare they do like a trash lottery recolor. So we're gonna go up against some random stuff. I've got this red Curbeus for our first opponent. So, you know, this is not that bad. Maybe, I don't know. Wow, hey, you know, we got that dub. I mean, that's kind of barely a dub. Maybe not even a dub at all, but we got it. Let's go up against uh, Minoboros Boros with what is this? Six, six reboots. No idea. But yeah, Impact does not have any stamina, right? Oh, but hey, the dub! Look at that. That was a good dub. That was a that dub right there. You saw that dub? That dub was a pretty good dub. Anyways, uh, who we go up against next? Oh, let's do it against uh, the Black Baldor. Oh, hey, that's where the Black Baldor was. No, I'm just surprised just because uh, I didn't know where that Black Baldor was. I found it. Yeah, I, I'm starting to remember that Xeno Excalibur was cool looking, but did not have the impact was really bad. It was really a bad attack tip. I mean, the concept was kind of cool that like 
part of the impact would have the rubber there and the part of like the plastic would mix. Like concept wise, cool. Real life, really, really bad. Though if PT ever did Impact Dash, I would not be against it. Uh, as strange as it sounds. But yeah, and then after we have the red guy with the 12, uh, 12 revolve. My impact is, the impact is so used that it's just turned into like, like a defense driver, I swear. Uh, I don't know, what do we got next? Next we got Unicorn. Yo, what did they do to the Excalibur is my question? My, my, my thing is this, it's like, okay, fine, it's used. Hey, that was a good win. How did they dent the middle of the X? How did they do that? How did they do it? Listen, it, what? Uh, the, the most confusing thing, which to be fair, we did get this at a good price, even though it is used, but the question I have is that they realized that this was a lottery bid that they'd probably eventually sell. Right? So why on God's earth did they think, yeah, I'm also just gonna wear it completely. It was just dumb, it's just, just not smart. Ah, it just looks awesome. And why can't we why can't we get some of these recolors on normal things? That's like a really cool Xeno. The ice one is pretty fire too. Uh, we're gonna do a what is this? Was was We're gonna do this against uh the white Anubis? This is the white Anubis with some random parts. Six weight, I think. A lot of six uh, discs I'm noticing I have on these old dual layers. Excalibur, please. Okay, that's it. Next bay. See, it always does it. It always does it last minute. All right, next bay is going down 200%. I just want to show this. So someone at TT really thought, they re look, do you see how much better it would have been if Ifred or, J or whatever, Ifred got that and this Excalibur had this? Do you see how much better it looks? But I swear, even, even the people at TT like amaze me. Even back in the day, they weren't that smart. Anyways, uh, our final battle for the video. Before I somehow get this in worse condition. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make it like this. If it's used, I don't care anymore because it's used. Like, I granted, I that was a good win. I eh? see. Granted, I did say in the video, I I, I do do in the videos where I, I I use them. But in fairness, it's not like it's that bad if it's warm. Like nothing like this. All right. Rating, the quality is a lot lower, but rating this as a recolor, this is a solid, I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10 for a recolor. The reason why this is so good, despite its condition, the outer part of the yellow is transparent, which goes really nice. Got the gold sword, the beautiful red in the center, and it, it just looks nice. The black impact, like this, you gotta consider this also back in the day, because I know now we have all these dash drivers and these fancy discs, so we can't really appreciate it. But honestly, this was pretty good. This was a really solid uh, lottery one. Uh, yeah, make sure you check out actually our UR Legends uh, series. We're gonna have more videos going over rare stuff. Eventually I'll try to get the whole catalog and maybe I'll do a full video with it. Uh, with the eventual fear, uh, with the eventual uh, fear that uh, someone's going to get the bays away from me. Anyways, uh, all kidding aside, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and bye.